Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the recently re-released Davros action figure from Remembrance of the Daleks with updated paint applications for this year's Autumn B&M range. Firstly, if we take a look at the packaging, you can see that it is in the purple style guide for the 7th Doctor's era with the Doctor Who logo, the TARDIS, the name of the story, a couple of diamond cutouts stating what's included and the scale. There is also a gold limited edition sticker and the name of the figure along the bottom. On the sides of the box, they're pretty much identical with the logo and the name of the figure again. On the top of the box, there is the horizontal Doctor Who logo, but looking at the back of the box, there is a quick breakdown of Davros's history up until and including Remembrance of the Daleks. And like usual, the bottom of the box has the generic legal and company information. One thing to note that when opening the packaging, you can see a lovely little diorama of the Dalek shuttle from the story, although as you take the figure out, you kind of destroy it, so I've cut around it so you can vaguely see what it looks like. It's a nice inclusion, they didn't have to do it, but it's a bit pointless really. Now, most people who know me and have spoken to me a little bit about Doctor Who knows that my favourite era from the classic run is the 7th Doctor's era, and that Remembrance of the Daleks is one of my all-time favourite Doctor Who stories, so to finally have this Davros in action figure form is a dream come true, especially as I never got the original one first time round. And not only to mention that, but this figure sculpt was thought to have been lost to the depth of time and space, but thankfully by some miracle the sculpt was found a little over a year ago, and now it's back in the line. Before I go into detail of the full figure, I believe that this figure is based on the restoration prop that was on display at the Doctor Who experience in Cardiff a few years ago, so this theoretically should be as accurate to the existing prop in its current known state. Whether that's 100% spot on is up for debate or your own opinion. I'm not a Dalek expert, I'm not a Davros expert, but that is the assumption that I'm going off. But aside from that and taking a closer look at Davros, you can clearly see that he looks exactly how he did in the story, with the enlarged dome, like the style of the 1960s comics, but in the Imperial White Library. If we keep the dome down for now, you can see the ears have been cast in a clear plastic, with the gold detailing painted on, and the hexagon, or Davros's little window, is in a clear plastic, but with a gold trim painted on. I know a few people were a bit concerned about how transparent the window would be, and to be honest, it is a little bit worse under the bright lights of my review station. However, once it's on the shelf and in natural lighting, it's not that noticeable. But looking at the rest of the dome, you can see the white detailed slats around the neck section with the gold trimmings underneath, as well as the six gold highlighted piece at the front. And one feature that this figure has is that the dome raises up and you can see Davros sat there covered in wires, ready to get into an argument with the seventh doctor about unlimited rice pudding. The head sculpt is superb and it looks exactly like Terry Malloy's Davros did in the story. However, unlike the previous release, this time it's been painted paler and the eyes and mouth are more prominent with the highlights in a darker brown. You can also see his microphone sculpted well as well as his silver headpiece and with the red wires leading towards his blue central eye. You can also see that Davros's shoulder section has the wires sculpted in beautifully. However, this time around there are less paint apps on them. Instead of the multiple bright colors, this time character have opted for grey, dark blue, red and yellow instead. I'm not sure whether this is spot on or done for budget reasons, but it does the job overall. Also to note, inside the dome it has been painted gold, so for $12.99 the amount of paint apps we've got is actually quite phenomenal. Moving on to Davros' skirt, you can see the gold hemispheres are painted nicely, however unlike all the other Imperial Dalek props he has two additional circular pieces on the front two panels. And that leads to articulation, like I've already mentioned, the dome raises up above Davros's head, and there are the usual three wheels on the base so that he can move forwards, backwards, and rotate 360 degrees. Another bit of articulation that I'm not sure is the head. On mine, it doesn't move at all, but I've seen a couple of other people's, and it does. So I think there must be a bit of glue in place that's stopping it. I don't want to push it too far and break it, and that's all there really is to say. I'm so happy to see this figure back in the line, especially as I never got it first time around. So to complete the remembrance of the Daleks figures is an absolute dream for me, especially as I'm such a big McCoy era fan. If you have enjoyed this video, please like this video and let me know what you think about the figure in the comments below. If you want to see some more content, feel free to 
follow me on Instagram as well. And I shall see you all very soon for some more Doctor Who action figure reviews. Thank you very much.